So let's talk about screen recording. A screen recording is exactly what you're watching right now. It is a video recording of whatever's happening on your screen. And it's overlaid with an audio track that's provided by a microphone. Uh, they're very easy to do, and so really, any computer that's got a microphone attached to it in any way, shape, or form can do a screen recording. They're really cool to do with students, um, to get them to show what they know, um, to have them create instructional videos of their own. Now this video is going to be a little bit different um, because I'm not going to be able to do a screen recording of a screen recording. Uh, you know, the universe might implode or whatnot. And so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to show you these three tools that are all free, easy to use. And I'll show you those tools and show you what they look like and how to get them. And then you can get started on your own. Alright, I'm going to start off with Jing, with the, which is located at jingproject.com. Jing is a download to your computer, so when you come to this site, you can look at the videos if you want, but to get started, you're going to click on the download button. That will download the actual program to your computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and get it started here, because I've already downloaded it to my computer. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to sign in, and so you will have to create an account to use Jing. Once it pops up, um, and you're signed in, and, and here I am, I've I've got to create a new account if you need to. I'm going to use my existing account. I'm going to use my regular email address here. And what you're going to see is, I don't know if you noticed it or not, this uh, sun pops up here at the top of your screen. That's how you control it. Now again, I'm not going to start it, but uh, all you would do is click on capture and then you can start capturing your screen. Now one thing about Jing is it does not create actual video files. Um, like AVI, WMV, you know, files that you can take and, and move. It creates uh, flash files. And so you can upload it to a place called screencast.com. You can link to it, but you don't actually get a copy of the file in the free version. You can go and upgrade, and you can do all those things with the upgraded version. But the free version, you only get like a link to your video file. But this one is very easy to use. It's probably the easiest to use um, that I'm going to show you. Alright, let me show you the next, which is Cam Studio. Cam Studio is an open source software, which means it will it's free and will always be free. Um, you will find some ads on this site. This is what it looks like. I'll show you that in just a moment. To actually download it, you gotta come on down here and you gotta come down to the download links. And again, this is a program that gets installed to your computer. Let me show you what it looks like. I've got it running down here. And it's very simple, very straightforward. You record. Uh, it makes a good recording. And this one does record in AVI, which is a movie file that you can take. It will also record in SWF, which is a flash file. It doesn't post it anywhere, but you can take it with you and you can do what you want. Um, and it is very straightforward, very lean uh, program. It does record a pretty good file. I will say that the AVI files get very, very large if you're creating a video. Um, so, I mean, even, you know, a minute long file could be like 150, 200 megs. So that's something to keep in mind, definitely, if you're using Cam Studio. But it is a good little recorder. One thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a countdown. So if I hit record, it just automatically starts going. But that's a good free, free tool. The last one I'm going to show you is called Screener. S-C-R-E-E-N-R dot -E -E com. This one is... Uh, well, actually easier than Jing. I said Jing was easiest. This one's even easier because you don't have anything to download. All you do is click record. It will start recording your screen. And what uh, Screener does is it doesn't save any kind of file. So it's all in the cloud. It's all online. And so what you do is you just click record. You can record a tutorial and then it will post a link. And you can either uh, use that link to share out with other people or you can actually embed. There's embed code within the screener also so you can embed your videos into your sites all completely free and it does have a pro version uh, that you can get uh, a, a bit more full featured but for basic recording for free this is another good choice the last thing I will say before I close out this video is if you have um, one thing that my school has and my county has is smart boards if you have smart boards in your county I'm not sure about the other interactive whiteboards, but SmartBoard comes with a program called Smart Notebook. Part of that is something called Screen Recorder. 
Um, and so if you've got smart notebook, if you've got smart products in your school, look for that screen recorder um, part of that software. That's another way to do uh, screen recording. And that one works pretty well. I've done that a lot with students because we've gotten that in every, in every computer in our building. And so we do a lot of screen recording with that one too. All right, so there's screen recording. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. I hope you get started with some of those. Try them out. See which one you like the best. And uh, let your students loose. Mm -hmm.